Run. He's outmaneuvered, Lox comes in, walks beautifully, breaks away with the ball, boots Carlton out of danger with kick number eight. It's all Collingwood up, they go and miss it. And here's a chance for Kevin oh. Hall. Free kick, free kick, which wasn't seen from up here. Oh, that could go against Collingwood if he's... Uh... Wall at Clifton to take it, Walls is the man who's objecting. A bit unlucky, Walls not have got the free there. No, it was Clifton who was interfered with by a Carlton player standing beside the pack. He was wrenched around the neck. There's his kick going towards centre-half forward for the Magpies. A big pack of players. Jones claims the mark, but it's not allowed. Down on the ground. It's picked up by Graham. Graham's kick smothered. A chance for Thompson. Breaks away into an open goal. And coolly punts with the left foot and puts the Magpies three goals in front. Well, dear me, Collingwood certainly pouring it on in attack. And as it's going to be kicked out this time by Clifton. That's the third fullback we've had kicking out. His driving left foot drop is down towards Jones. It's nicely intercepted in front of him with judgment by Wayne Richardson. Wayne Richardson, probably the finest time marking rover in the business. He must be, Doug. Yes, he certainly takes his share in the pack. He is covered with mud as he comes in on half-back flank. Courageous player is Wayne and boots it down towards that centre-half forward zone. Surge comes in. Misses it. Jackson's pretty slow, but gets it out wide to Croswell. Croswell loses it, picked up by Clifton. He boots it downfield with a long way to go yet. This game is by no means over. Jeff Clifton at full back for Collingwood goes more or less up the centre. Sylvain Nickel, Jenkins tap down to Minari, picked up by Walls. He's caught, penalised for holding the ball. Not much else he could do, was there? Really, he was put under pressure. It was a very good tackle. Clifton pulled him away from his line of uh, hand pass. And so he couldn't do anything else but really hold on to it. There's Clifton's kick, a raking drop kick down the wall. This is Burke. Burke now in the centre of the ground. Boots it down towards that full forward zone. Eric Moore up. Nicely scored by Clifton. Clifton follows on. Nicely. Jeff Clifton, the youngster. 20 years old. Now the side of the ground he's looking for. The left footer comes in. Looks like a drop punt. He comes in and kicks that long, wobbly one out wide underneath it is Collingwood. It was almost taken there by Greening. Could have been rewarded. It is awarded. Doing very well in the wing, this young fellow. He's got a ton of ability, Ken. I'm sure he'll gain confidence as the game goes on. Wayne Richardson gives the lead. It's ignored. Down towards Jenkins. Jenkins is successful against Carlton. Yes, I don't know whether it's successful on the MCG, though. I think it's bad, a bad move. Clifton comes in and boots it out wide, out on the other side of the ground once again. Underneath it is Terry Waters. A wonderful juggling spectacular. Lovely man. Loves it from behind and does it magnificently. He boots back looking for Dunn. Bergen makes front position but misjudges it. And Dunn with perfect judgment. Clifton veering wide out to kick to the outer side of the ground once again. Thompson and Green will be the aerial exponents as they come in. From behind, it's almost Thompson's arms. Down it goes to Wayne Richardson. He tries the short pass and does it beautifully out to Whedon. Oh. Oh, as Whedon comes in. Oh. Boots it down towards centre half four. Thick and fast from both benches. Clifton kicks in for Conning. What a shocking kick too, but it's fallen into the arms of uh, a team Callaghan. further afield. It looks like Dennis O'Callaghan, yes. Callaghan, not. Hart's on with the business. Barrett's behind the pack. Clifton now in for position. Barrett for the leap. Clifton, well done. Almost takes it. Barrett battles for his play. Played it. Played it. Uh, he played it. He played it. Yes, he Just held it long enough. I think it'd be the decision, but it was wonderful anticipation. Well, he's got a good height advantage over Barrett, and he should be able to use it. Yes, he'd have four or five inches over Barrett as he kicks it out wide. Well, they're certainly stronger in the air at the moment. Clifton, who's been a particularly good fullback, boots it out wide. Terry Waters look underneath it. Oh, easily taken by Greening. Greening. Here's Jeff Clifton to put the ball in for Colin. Lex the drop punt to the outer flank once again. Collingwood's big men are up there. Terry Waters. Waters at half back flank, outer side. Good defender did everything right except kick it straight as Clifton comes in and boots it downfield Beard and Farmer and click Clifton who's had plenty of kicking off uh, practice elects the he would have been a, a lot further ahead at the stage as we wait on Clifton to put the ball into play it's a lovely drop kick covers a lot of ground on the ball Hart moves in close to the man on the mark drop punt on its way it's straight it's a long kick has it got distance? No, it hasn't. Inside the boundary line is Clifton to mark the ball.
Magnificent mark right on the line by Jeff Clifton. He chooses the outer side of the ground once again. Thompson shielding eyes from the sun. Michael Green underneath him. Clifton once again. It's a drop kick out wide. Dick Clay's up. It's his strength. And here comes another Barrett special. But Clifton's underneath it. Clifton goes up and takes the mark. Two and a half minutes into the first quarter. This well, Collingwood side, quickly, that the Colin. Collingwood side looks a little bit disorganised when the ball goes onto Carlton's forward line, which to Robert Walls it kicks into Dizalenko. Dizalenko couldn't hold it. Lee Adamson comes through, taken away nicely by Clifton. Clifton's kicking to the centre of the ground. Up goes Collingwood, still in front. But oh, Teddy, it's a wild since I've seen such a high standard go. Didn't that ball travel from one end of the ground to the other in Ooh. a very quick time? Uh, yeah, that short part from Waters to Richardson, he got the wrong, wrong call, Richardson, and that was City Jackson. This is the kick now, it's a high one, almost to the edge of the goal square. Jessalinko went up high, but Clifton of Collingwood has marked in the fence. Very solid mark, that one. And players steadying down a little after that little cracker. You feel as if you're sitting on a keg of dynamite, don't you? That's right, just waiting for it to go. Oh, I'd die out there, I'll give you the tip. Yeah, but I'm too old for it, I'm glad I'm up here. Clifton goes... Mind you, that ball tricked them a bit, Teddy. It was a very long kick. That's a short one. The short one from full back out to Max Richardson. On his own, runs around the wing position, kicks it out to the centre wing. Train is there, but off. Oh. The scoreboard end in this the final quarter. Big Nick. Oh, he's kicked it a mile. The players set themselves. They fly high. A Collingwood mark. Clifton. If they can disentangle themselves. And tempers have been frayed here all day for the benefit of our interstate viewers. Clifton now tries a short one. Something towards the game. The umpire crouch is well, under con well in control of the match and it's been a highlight of the final series up to date. Let's hear from Butch Gale. Well, exactly the same comment. There's a mark to Terry Waters. And this is what's uh, keeping Collingwood in the game at the moment is their overhead marking. But I can tell you, it's been a pretty tough affair. There's the kick in towards the centre of the ground. Forwards, fullbacks, the sentiment, the Ruckman, the Rovers. 12 minutes gone in the final quarter. As the ball is kicked by Clifton towards the outer flank, Jenkins knocks it away for Collingwood. Price comes in, cleverly taps it over to Dean. Dean of Collingwood drives down now to the forward zone. McKenna! McKenna swings around. He shoots down at the big ones. Here's a go. The man in front will care, but couldn't pull it in. Thompson's oh, going. Oh, must play it. Thompson's He had to play it to Thompson. Thompson has kicked three goals. Three goals to Thompson. He would be 20 yards out directly in front. 20 yards out. Give or take an inch. Directly in front. Kicking to the Richmond end. Up he comes. Oh! oh. My golly, that was close. I thought he'd missed it. It just sneaked in, Mike. Oh. In by about a foot. Well, that's a handy goal. Good. In a great yes. game like this. Clifton to take the kick. Carlton are kicking up to the scoreboard end, and it's the final quarter. Right. I'll have a by a long shot for mine. Right. Walls going to the back pocket, wait onto the ball. Right kick to the halfback. Because I tell you, it could have got out of hand at any given moment. Jackson is always a glorious kick. Deep down into the forward zone. They fly high. Clifton of Collingwood pulls down the screamer. Yeah, that was a fine mark at the right time in this game. Clifton now looking to hug the boundary line. He goes around the player on the mark. Did it very nicely too. Kicks out here towards Greening and Crane. 26 minutes of the final quarter gone. Waiting for the kick out now. The message now will be slow it down. Oh, I wouldn't take that risk, Teddy. That must attack. Clifton goes straight up the ground. He's looking for Jenkins. Jenkins was held. He'll get the free. I don't think there's any doubt about that one. Oh, could be a penalty too. Should be. Oh, he's letting it go. <laughs> Jenkins now to take this kick. The heat really on. Jenkins kicks out wide to the flank position on that outer side. Could be a free kick to Waters, but Dean of Collingwood comes out with it. Dean down forward. Gould is waiting there. McCann. Chandler with the ball, has a bounce, goes for the big kick. Beacons is there, coming out of Clifton. Playing in front of Jezelenko there. Yeah. Jeff Clifton, the Collingwood fullback. 28 minutes of the final quarter gone. Clifton now comes right across the, the ground to the flank 
on the member stand side. Ricky Watt fumbles the ball, but he gets clear. Eventually, he gets his kick in towards the center. He'll be paid it. Walls now, skips around, kicks down over center half forward. Jessalenko comes out, has the ball knocked away by Clifton. Here they go after it. A chance here for Dean of Collingwood. He gets a ball across here towards Tully. The nose on your face is the unselfish play by the uh, both teams. Out the weekend's a nice short pass. He played on nicely out to the wing. But most important, Clifton now to kick in. This boy, a young fellow, most improved player in the league, in my opinion. Kick goes into the centre, Jenkins and Nichols. Now in towards centre half four, they move in for it, they fly high. No mark, Robert Walls is after it. Clifton now comes out with the ball. He's grabbed and Clifton gets away for Collingwood. Clifton down towards centre half four, here's a race for the ball. Dunn traps it. Dunn gets around under his left boot. He shoots at the big one. And this, a left foot of through. Oh, great play. Oh boy, now that fella kicked it with his left foot. And he's a natural right footer. Came through, had to trap the ball, bounce it, and cock it over his shoulder for a 50-yard goal. 6-11 to 1-3. And uh, a chance for Lee Adams to oh. up by Jessalinko. Oh. Left foot kicking towards full forward. Tully there, but oh, speaking through very nicely came Chris, but his kick goes in towards the centre of the ground. They fly high, Gould went up a mile. Peter Jones, a long hand pass by Jones, finds Silvani. Silvani, a long hand pass, but it doesn't quite come off as uh, Crane couldn't get to it. It's taken by Clifton of Collingwood. Clifton into the centre, he finds Price. Price in a bit of trouble. A hand pass across here towards uh, Dean, but the ball picked up by Max Richardson. Down towards the forward zone, the kenner! A great mark. Paul declaring that McKenna has pushed him. Oh, I don't buy that, do you? Oh, no, I'd definitely pay McKenna this I, mark. I agree with Kevin Hall that probably did push him, but it was six of Within one half rule. a dozen of the other. Within the rule, I McKenna's know. kicked four, he's 30 yards out directly in front. It's on its way, there's his fifth. Well, there's nothing wrong with him now, Tim. Oh, uh, he looks all right. He did go into a into a pack, Mike, and uh, Butcher was hit very severely there. Uh, possibly. And Carlton needing some goals on the board. I'll ask both of you a question. Teddy Whitten, would you give Carlton away now? No. Not would at you, all. Butch? Oh, absolutely not. All right, okay, here we go. Carlton is starting to tackle. Okay, there's Silvani's kick from the free down forward. Robert Walls goes up there. Couldn't get it. Clifton gets it across to Tully. Tully finesses, gets his kick out of the woods in a half back. The mark taken there by Twiggy Dunn of Collingwood. This fellow's the best backman on the ground. Yes, yeah, I agree with you, Butch. Took the words out of my mouth. He's had a bit of bad luck too uh, during the week, Twiggy Dunn. His father passed away for Clifton to get out of trouble. Tudnam's in there. He's unloaded by Jackson. Picked up by Clifton. Here's Big Nichols. Oh, no, Clifton gets a free. Just as well. Oh, lucky let out that one. It well, was a lucky. consistent with that push in the back row. Yes, it was a definite free kick. And Carlton, to me now, have uh, lifted themselves right up to the stage whereby they can, if they go on with a good on top of Collingwood. All right, Clifton now, he tries a short one out here towards Eakins, who's on his own, and here's a go. Eakins is running, plenty of room, gets his kick now, down towards centre half forward. Terry Waters is there, oh! Yes, he's playing the mark. It. Is he playing it? Yes. <laughs> I Would you have played just it? Long enough. Waters from the half forward line, looking for the long one into the square. Thompson goes in and marks. That was a well-placed kick and good football by Waters. True captain's game. 25 yards out now. Thompson dead in front. He won't want to miss this one up. Four points at look, tremendous look amount at that of right pressure thigh. on him. You can see his right thigh there. Yeah. See those marks? That's that uh, skin irritation that I've been talking about. Thompson kicks. Put it through. A 10 point lead for Collins now. Time, Michael. Gee, it's going quickly. For the kid. But that doesn't put it on the scoreboard. A let off for Collingwood, put it that way. Definite one, Jeff Clifton now about to kick in right up the centre. Big Jenkin in there, Nichols hits down, Jackson has it, he hand passes over towards Walls. It snapped away there, taken away by Lee Adamson, his kick goes to centre half forward. Wayne Richardson kicking from the Blues. The breeze is Not swinging enough goals. around a bit. I think the breeze has swung to the Jollyman then, Mike. Well, well that would be favouring uh, Collingwood That's then. That's right. So Lady Luck may be with Collingwood at last in a grand final. A kick goes out. Jenkins flies. Hasn't knocked away by Nichols of Carlton. Gary Klein tries to pick up. Doesn't do so. Taken by Price of Collingwood. Price is running around. Oh, beautiful. Over to Greening. Greening a hand pass to Britt. 
Red in a bit of trouble. Back to Greening. Play Collingwood. Greening now down forward. Here's a go. They race for the ball. A bit, a bit uh, short of the centre. He takes his kick. Oh, it's a nice one too. A big man flying. Up they go. It's a Collingwood mark in defence to oh, Clifton, mark. the fullback. A beauty under pressure. Let's hear from Butch Gale. Jeff Clifton. About the kick from just behind the centre half back position. Going right up the middle, Colling, but it's the only way to. Twiggy done in there. And should hurry it on. Now Hello, what's, uh, what's a, going on here? Having another word to Walls. Walls disputed the goal umpire's decision. The goal umpire spoke to him and also the field umpire. As Clifton comes out, kicks the ball to the outer side flank. Underneath it is Jenkin and Jenkin. Lee. Clifton kicking out from the scoreboard end. Comes along the member stand, flank the boys.